Morgan, Morgan Freeman and mm, story time. Damn it, Morgan, Morgan. Hey, excuse me, story time. It's time to go back to the future with Morgan Freeman story time. Our story begins with Mr. Emmett Brown, otherwise known as Doc. Of course, he wasn't a real physician. No, he was a pimp, and Doc was his pimp name. Unlike other pimps, Dr. Brown didn't specialize in women. Doc Brown was a dog pimp. He didn't pimp his dog out to people. No, he pimped his dog out to other dogs, rich bitches. In addition to being a pimp, Doc Brown was also a scientist and he built a time machine. His plan was to send his whore dog back in time so it could pleasure more rich bitches. Now, let's just say Doc Brown was a better pimp than he was a scientist, and he messed something up real bad with that time machine. He sent his best whore dog back in time to who knows when. Marty McFly was a naive teenage boy who lived down the street from Doc Brown. He took a shine to Doc and his dogs, Doc Brown was always thinking like a pimp, and he saw a pimp's opportunity in the supple young body of Marty McFly. You see, Hill Valley was full of rich old women looking to bust off a piece of dick, and Doc Brown's dick would not do. Marty, being a bit naive, agreed to Doc's terms. Doc would take 75% of every dollar Marty earned, but Marty, ooh-wee, he would get to have the sex Doc Brown, being a pimp with a time machine, was not satisfied whoring Marty out only in 1985. He would make Marty a whore throughout all time. Marty's first test was an old broad named Mrs. Strickland. Mrs. Strickland was a crazy old broad. She yelled at people out the window with a megaphone. Doc knew that if Marty could pleasure Mrs. Strickland, whose pussy was like an old shoe, he would have no problems being a time-traveling man-whore. I'm not kidding about Mrs. Strickland's vagina, either. It was literally an old shoe. It was nasty. But Marty did what had to be done. You see, Marty did such a fine job with the crazy old Mrs. Strickland that she paid Doc to send Marty back in time to have sex with her when she was younger. Marty agreed. Unfortunately, that plan had flaws. Just because the 90-year-old you wants somebody to have sex with the 25-year-old you doesn't mean the 25-year-old you is going to be in on the plan. She said, go away, you nasty man. I don't want to have sex with you. My vagina is like a pristine brand new shoe. And she told Marty to buzz off. It was only Marty's second job as a professional prostitute and already he'd been turned down. As much as he didn't want to do it, He had to talk to his pimp. Old Doc Brown was in jail for pimping, of course. In order to convince the young Mrs. Strickland that the old Mrs. Strickland had sent Marty back in time to have sex with her when she was younger, Marty had to get his pimp out of jail. Marty was just about to bust his pimp out of jail with this rocket-powered drill, when who should appear but Miss Strickland? She had a change of heart, and she was ready to get busy. Get busy screwing or get busy dying, that's what I always say. Marty knew what he was in for, so he strapped a rocket onto his crotch to give his pelvis the power it needed. Marty successfully pleasured Miss Strickland over seven hours, and just before the sun was coming up, he busted his pimp out of jail. And just as they were leaving to go back to 1985, Marty realized something was dreadfully wrong. He had contracted gonorrhea. Gonorrhea, as everyone knows, is a venereal disease that makes you disappear. Whatever is Marty going to do, to be continued, we'll have to find out what happens next time. For more videos like this one here, subscribe to the Game Society Pimps channel. And for professional voiceovers and celebrity impressions, go to jasonsvoices.com. 